class, we're going to look at contingent liabilities now. Okay, a contingent liability, as it says here on the board, depends on the likelihood of an event occurring. So contingent liability, some examples might be legal claims. If someone sues us, if the, if the case is still going on, it's a contingent liability. We might owe somebody money, but then we might not. Okay? Uh, warranty, same thing with warranties. If we have a product and we, war we have a warranty on it, then we might have to pay money to get it fixed, somehow um, resolve the issue. Okay? So that is a contingent liability. We're not quite sure how much it might be, but more than likely there's going to be some that are out there depending on what we manufacture. And uh, another item is vacation pay. Okay? That's a contingent liability. We're going to owe money because our, our employees are going to go on vacation. So at the end of the year, uh, we may have to uh, record vacation pay liability. And then tax assessments. There's just all sorts of contingent liabilities out here. But here are some of the more common contingent liabilities uh, that we might have to record. And once again, it depends on the likelihood of an event occurring, how we're going to treat these contingent liabilities. So it's a three-step process, okay? The first one is we're going to determine whether it's probable, which means likely, or it might be possible, okay? Each contingent liability will fall into one of these categories. It's either going to be probable, possible, or this contingent liability might be remote, which would be very unlikely. So I'm going to put unlikely next to it. Okay? If it's probable, if we determine that this is probable, and we can estimate it, estimate the dollar amount, then we're going to record, let's record the liability. If it is probable, if it's likely, and usually we're going to get our lawyers involved in this. We're going to get other people involved to see if it's likely or not. If it's likely, and we can estimate the dollar amount, we will record the liability. So we'll record probably a loss, some sort of expense, or some sort of decrease of our income. So probably a loss, and then we'll credit the liability, showing that we owe money. Probably, okay? It's probable. Or if it's not if we cannot estimate it, we cannot estimate the dollar amount, then we're going to disclose in the notes, in the notes to the financial statements, okay? If we can't estimate, if it's probable but we can't estimate the dollar amount, we're just unsure, we'll still disclose it so people looking at our financial statements can see that there are contingent liabilities and we might put a range in there. It could be anywhere from here to here, um, but more than likely we're just going to disclose what it is um, and, what, and give some information on the actual uh, contingent liability. Possible means it's, it's reasonably possible that it might happen. Under reasonably possible situations, we're going to disclose it in the notes. Okay, we'll disclose it in the notes. It could occur, okay, I'm going to put that down. It could occur, but it's not probable. But then it's not remote yet. Okay? Remote is it's unlikely, it's not going to happen. It's probably not going to happen. So if it's remote, then no disclosure. Okay? No disclosure. Now on homework problems, um, or on tests, uh, it's going to be obvious whether it's probable, possible, or remote. Okay? So you'll know, you'll be able to see straight from that. In reality, it might not be as easy. Okay? Uh, when we're out there doing these actual transactions, it might not be as easy. That's why we need to get lots of people involved and try and determine if it's probable or possible. Okay? And we're probably going to decide on uh, conservatism when we decide on these things. All right? All right. So that's contingent liabilities. Thanks, class.